How did Marquise de Montespan look like in real life? A lush blonde with wavy hair and blue eyes appeared for the first time before the Versailles court. Meet me sister, Françoise Athenaise, Mademoiselle de Tenechrant, introduced her relative Gabriella, Marquise de Tiange. The aristocrats scrutinized the new lady of the court. Men threw sparkling glances at Athenaise, and women whispered enviously. Athenaise was not afraid of the crowd. She smiled slyly. Her teeth were even and white, which was rare for the 17th century. To the surprise of the courtiers, the young girl was sharp-tongued and could shut up impolite aristocrats with a single word. It was said that a sharp mind is a hereditary trait of all descendants of de Rochechouart de Mortmart. In 1663, at the age of 22, Adonais married the jealous Gascon Marquis de Montespan. She considered this marriage unworthy of her family name, but there were no other candidates. At the Versailles court, the new Marquise de Montespan spent time in the company of the king's brother Philip of Orleans, Queen Maria Theresa, the king's sister-in-law Henrietta Stuart, and the queen mother, and of Austria. But Louis XIV himself Marquise Montespan shunned. At first he did not like her. The Marquise of Montespan was very ambitious, not promiscuous, but her character was worse than the devil himself. Nothing could come between her and the fulfillment of her desires and ambitions, for the sake of which she was willing to sacrifice anything, described the character of the Marquise of Montespan in her memoirs Elizabeth of the Palatinate. Historians described the appearance of the Marquise of Montespan less attractively. They wrote that her figure was ugly and clumsy, as the Marquise was fond of meals, and her eyes, though indicative of great intelligence, were too bright. She had a very pretty mouth, a pleasant smile, and lovely blonde hair. Elizabeth of the Palatinate mentioned the former favorite of Louis XIV in her memoirs. She wrote that Louise, unlike Montespan, was always tidy, while Montespan was always dirtier. Although Montespan's skin was whiter than Louise's and her hands were more graceful and beautiful. One could not get tired of talking to the Marquise Montespan, she knew how to intrigue and draw one into conversation. But alcohol had no effect on either Monty Span or her daughter Francoise Louise, no matter how much they drank. Marquise Monty Span was considered one of the most beautiful women of her time. In the art and culture of the time, her looks were a popular object of attention. She was the epitome of fashion and elegance. Marquise Monty Span was one of the most influential royal favorites in the history of France. She managed to win the love of Louis XIV but soon lost her favor due to her obnoxious character. The king left the Marquise as he felt she loved him less than he loved her. Louis himself liked a more secluded life. He would gladly have spent it with Adonais if she had been less capricious and paid more attention to the king himself than to his whims. Thank you for your time. Subscribe to my channel.